Most people know that ProPresenter has and has had for a long time a stage display, stage monitor, stage screen kind of function. In the beginning it was very basic, but with Pro 7 it's gotten very advanced. And so you can do all kinds of things that you couldn't do with earlier versions of the stage display. So one thing that people have asked since the release of ProPresenter 7.1 is how you can preview all the monitors, all the things that are going on when you're recording, when you're just um, live streaming, no matter what you're doing. How can you monitor all that? Well, this is how. What I did was I first went into screens and I went to configure screens and I created a new stage screen. Okay, the one we're looking at is the Dynex. That's uh, just a little TV that I have instead of a monitor. Um, right now it's set to not exactly 720p, but uh, close enough. So we're going to deal with this particular one. It's actually the one to the right of my uh, layout here. It's uh, just a regular connected display. So now we're going to go into uh, Edit Layouts. And you'll see that I've got a few layouts here. What I did was I created a new layout. And as we look at this, you'll see that I have the live slash recording layout. I have one for Cam Twist, which right now is uh, getting a feed from Camera Live from my DSLR. A Logitech webcam. I don't have that plugged in right now. My FaceTime cam. Um, my deck link, etc. I also have spaces for four other inputs. Haven't actually uh, put anything into those, but they're available for me. So how I did this was I just went up to this plus sign, added a new, you would think it would be screen preview, but actually I chose text, and I'll show you why here in just a second. So a text box has text in it. I formatted all these by um, just retyping whatever. Selected it, went to stroke, added a black stroke of a few pixels wide just to get it to pop out. And then I uh, moved that to the bottom. Could have left that at the top or whatever. But then I went to Shape here and clicked on Fill. Right now you're seeing a color, but instead of color, if I go down here, I can uh, do like a screen preview where you can see any of the screens, or I can also do video input. So if I do video input, then I have some different choices. Um, input number one, input number two, three, four, etc. So that's really cool. That's basically how I did all the ones at the bottom here. And for this program screen on the right hand side, what I did was instead of video input, I did screen preview and did my placeholder screen which is the one that I want for recording and live streaming. So that's what I did there. By creating a text box and then filling the text box with one of those um, sources of video, I get these preview screens. So let me actually delete that one that I just made for you. And I'll show you. Okay. Oh, I also, because there's not a true preview, I thought it would be helpful for me to have the current slide text here and the next slide. And I just created that with by adding here, 
current slide, text, next slide, text, and I also scaled the text up to fill the container in the case of the current slide so that it was obvious this is the current slide. And in the case of the next slide, I scaled down the text to fill, fit the container so that it's obvious this is the next slide. So, and I made a smaller container for the next slide and a larger container for the current slide. So, all that to say, now if I go back into show, I can show you a preview. So remember that's the Dynex and hi. So we have the next slide, we have um, Cam Twist, Logitech, which isn't plugged in right now, my FaceTime camera right there, and the deck link in, which actually has this screen coming out of here and back in through my video switcher. So I can preview everything. Notice I've got this formatted differently than uh, the way these are for the connected display, which maybe it's just got an output. I uh, made sure that I set up my looks. So if you go into screen and then edit looks, so that my connected display, which is the one, imagine that it's the one that is going to a projector, it doesn't show the video input. And the placeholder, um, I made it so it doesn't show media. So that if I were to put, uh, play a video or have a motion background or whatever on the connected display, you wouldn't see that under placeholder. And I could save these looks and then when I did need to play a video in both places, I could have it to where uh, that shows. But that's the basics of how to do that. I should also tell you how to add more of these inputs since I've added eight. So there's a couple of ways to do it. You could either uh, go up here to the menu and um, under ProPresenter and then Preferences. There's a video input and then you can increase this number and then tell it what it is and then enter the description for it. Or you could do it down here where you right click and um, go to video input setup and it takes you to the same place. Either way, perfectly fine. Now once you add these down here, so let's say I wanted to add a ninth one. Oh. So apparently there is a limit of how many you can do, just eight. Okay, so let's say that I had just added uh, eight down here. Let me delete number eight here. So if I wanted to add an eighth one of these, then I would need to go back here to that plus button, click it, select input eight, and then that'll be here. So I would want to do that before I did all the formatting for the stage screen, but I realized that I hadn't shown you how to do that, and it could be a little confusing because it's totally different than how it was done in ProPresenter 6, and coincidentally why I was advising that people not use the live video function in ProPresenter 6 is because it would go to your main screen and there was latency, whereas with ProPresenter 7, you can have this go to recording, Notice I'm recording the output so I can switch back and forth as I need to. And you can uh, send this to the live stream or just to the live stream and not recording or both. So I've got another tutorial on that that I released last week. So that is how to format a stage screen to make your own multi-view any way you want to make it. 
uh, one thing that I did leave out, and so let me go back here to this layout. You'll notice right here that these are very symmetrical. This is a fourth of the screen. This is a fourth of the screen. Um, and these are um, a sixteenth of the screen. So another thing that they added with Pro 6 is, or Pro 7 rather, is that you can click on one of these and you can change the size. So uh, 1920 by 1080, half of that in both directions gives you a fourth of the screen. So I created that. And then to make these, I made sure that they were all half again of that, so I can fit four of them in, or 1920 by 1080 divided by four would give you the same number, which is 480 by 270. So then I just drug them to where they go, and you'll notice the slap, uh, snapping tools help you place those precisely, and you're good to go. So that is how to create your own multi-view in ProPresenter 7 for live streaming or just to have access to all the information for multiple screens.